Okay. Hello. Welcome back <laughs> with my great friend Christina Ferrari Thamopoulos, <laughs> and we are talking about the book, the long-awaited book. We're we launching are, it officially. We're officially today. launching Food for Thought. Right. Food for Thought is her book. It's I've our written book. the introduction. Excuse me. I'm, Okay, I've written talking. the introduction, which makes it then our book, but it's her work, her passion, her mission, and part of the proceeds are going to go to the women's Alzheimer's movement, but this is really Christina's labor of love, because she's the one that created all the recipes. She's the one that's put in all the work and the effort, so if you're looking for a great Christmas gift, Food for Thought is your book. Uh, to give to people you love so that they will eat healthy moving into the new year. They will eat for their brains and their bodies, their hearts, and their souls. And I'm so excited. Oh, I'm excited too. It's finally happening. The book, it's Food finally. for Thought, because the food we eat and all the conversations we've done uh, over the last whatever two years is, now two years wow, two have two all years. been about what two. we eat and how it impacts our brain and Christina has just got so much passion and love and so today so great food for thought available Amazon. on amazon.com for pre-orders so pre-orders pre the book will be available in early December but you can order now everybody loves cookbooks for Christmas and like Maria said some of the proceeds of this book is going to women's Alzheimer's movement so you That's could right. do your part to help out as well that's great and we're gonna put recipes and the book in the Sunday paper uh, if you don't get the Sunday paper I hope you'll sign up for it because it's, it's news wonderful. and views for a meaningful life and we all want to do that moving. it makes me cry every Sunday and Tony always says to me did you read Maria's column? And I do. Every Sunday without fail. It okay. is so and inspiring well, and, and well, moving. So you, you have to go read down because there's other people, what yes. they're thinking, yeah. and then we're going to put your recipes. Thank you. And all through November because that's Alzheimer's and Caregiving Month. And so today, uh, this is beautiful. I've had nothing to do with it. She did everything. <laughs> I couldn't do this if I tried. Uh, well, I, I could if you gave me the picture. So yeah, I, I, I took right. pictures, so I'm going to okay. email them to you. So okay. but let me explain oh, to you. Th those those are, are not real. Aren't I know, beautiful? but they're yeah. beautiful. Brooks and Beams. I got them at Westlake. There's a store that I love, and they look so real. They do. Don't they? And they even oh, feel real. Oh, my God. Yeah. Brooks and Bro Beams. Bro Bro I'm sorry. Bricks. Oh. And beams. Bri <laughs> Bricks and beams. Yes. That's gorgeous. Well, I would have but a clear The other stuff is real. The, all of this is real. Let me tell you how real this is. I listened to Maria's interview that she did with Dr. Tanzi last week when she was on the Today Show and she interviewed him for, it was, na it was at World National Alzheimer's World Alzheimer's Day. Day. Yes. Day. Yes. And so he was very adamant about uh, the fact that we should be eating more fiber on our diet. And the Correct. research that he did, it showed that uh, the, the foods that have the most fiber in it are really brain healing and so we should really think about prebiotics you've heard of probiotics probiotics right. are uh, the foods that are already they have bacteria in them you know like your yogurt anything your that's blueberries fermented, right fermented well it's really fermented so it, it really feeds the, um, gut. the the gut the bacteria right. in the gut and the pro and the probiotics are the ones that uh, you should be eating in your diet because they work in tandem uh, together the probiotics and the prebiotics to make it all nice and um, anti-inflammatory and that's yes. what we're looking for because if you get rid of the toxins and the, and the inflammation in your gut then you heal the gut and then you have health. So don't tell me popcorn is now, good. He talked about fiber. Yes. Popcorn has a lot of fiber in and it. Dr. Gundry yeah. Yeah. says to me, do not, whatever you do, don't eat popcorn. Well, well he's, he's wrong. wrong. And let me tell you why. Not that <laughs> eat sorghum instead. Oh, sorghum. 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 Yeah. yeah. Well, sorghum. who wants to eat that? you got to eat it like a teaspoon of it. I know. It's like, I mean, but, but, okay, if you don't want to eat popcorn, I'm not a doctor. I only play one on TV. But I, I do my research, and part yes. of the research said fiber. These are the foods that have the most fiber in it. So you broccoli. have artichokes, broccoli. Broccoli, pomegranates, uh, apples, figs, blueberries. Uh, we have cashews and almonds, and like I said, pumpkin. There's oranges and pears. You can get all of this information on our website. Uh, and bananas. This, this is has all a lot healthy of, right. food. Which, and, uh, yeah. Right, and then the, one of the healthiest things that you could eat are red lentils. And one of the recipes that we're putting up on the on your website this weekend for yes. the Sunday paper is a red lentil soup I brought back oh. from Africa. I and it has a spiced oil and African spices in it, along with red lentils. One of the healthiest, fibrous foods that you can eat. 
Red lentils. Red lentils. Okay. Make sure there's a bathroom nearby. Okay. <laughs> because half an hour later, there you go. Uh, but That's it's so good, good for you. <laughs> it just cleans you out. Uh, but it's very healthy for you. It's very tasty. I'm not going to have you. Here Here it is right here. I don't know if you can see it. Can you see it? I hope you can see how beautiful this is. It is a red. And it also has a. Here, we're going to. It's in a beautiful yeah. white. There you go. Pumpkin. Well, you know, I like to put, you know, I like to set the table, but it yeah, has a do. spice, spice oil in it, some microgreens, a little bit of sour cream in there. So now, yeah. Christina, how long? Because people often say, like, that's beautiful, but I'm, you know, I've got two jobs, I've got two kids, I'm working all day, I don't have time, uh, and I know a lot of the things you, you call what we say is this doesn't take a lot of time. No, this soup will take you exactly half an hour, and what I do is I make two batches of it, and I put it in a large. Uh, mason jar and I'll f I'll freeze it for, okay. for so I'll always have it so you don't have to worry the next time you know I'm home what am I going to do you just take it out of the freezer and heat it up and eat it but this literally take it, these take a half an hour to cook and you just saute them in some uh, onions with some spices very so, easy and the spices are good for you too that are in here that's as true. well to for your gut spice yes right always right. Really and cumin cumin, cumin yeah. yeah and cumin. then also like snacking I unfortunately are I'm a big snacker right and so if you could try to shift to snacking on broccoli or snacking on nuts, obviously not too many nuts, but... Um, pomegranates, apples, apples with peanut butter on it, right. avocado, you can have... I know you love guacamole. Yeah, uh, have a ball. Unfortunately, I like chips, so... You know, you take the chip, you you buy the tortillas, you you can make, put them in eighths, you spray a little bit of um, corn tortillas, corn tortillas, yes. or gluten free, and put them on a baking sheet. Put them in the oven at four hundred degrees for about ten minutes. They get nice and crunchy, so you don't have the chips that are fried in oil, and you just dump it. In, uh, you just dump it. You dip it into your guacamole, and you'll be happy. That's good. So oh, good. I want to mention, too, that on my website, I have a great recipe for pa pasta with broccoli. You love pasta, and we do it. You love pasta, no? You cannot be my friend of me. I'm okay, Italian. I love, yeah. I love your you pasta. You don't love pasta? I love when your pasta. When did that pasta. happen? It happened a while ago. Oh, okay. But one thing I've discovered, which I think a lot of people do, is you know what you can digest, what you oh, eat changes. Yeah, it so does. So what, what makes you feel good changes. So If you uh, can't eat the pasta, mm -hmm. I highly suggest you use spaghetti squash. Oh, spaghetti squash. That's it's great. delicious. Yeah. I also have I've discovered something that I really love, which is mashed um, cauliflower, <gasps> which oh, is oh. unbelievable and healthy and makes you think you're eating like mashed potato or something okay. else, which is really exciting. You're excited I'm so that? excited. You know why? Because the next time I come in, we're going to be doing things for Thanksgiving. Yes. One of the recipes in the book is a cauliflower puree. You yes. are going to love it, and I you are that. going to love it. I can't wait to share it with you. Um, so that will be the next recipe that we're going to put up. What we're going to do until the book is out in right. December is every time we come here, we're going to be releasing a recipe from the book. If you look at yesterday's Instagram that I had with Christina Cooks, uh, if you go there, uh, you'll see pictures that I put in that are from the book. They're they so beautiful. beautiful. They're any, they and beautiful. today's Instagram, too, on desserts. You haven't seen that. No, I, I have haven't a whole seen chapter that. on desserts, which I think you'll like. And I just want to say that when Christina first started talking about all of this, it, it really feels to me like the world, in a way, has caught up to a lot of the yes. impact of food mm -hmm. on your brain, right. uh, how you think, what you remember, foggy brain. This. You know, this is all medicine, or it's all well. Trash. Food is medicine. Food or, is medicine. Yeah, or it's trash. It can like right. really help you, or it can really hurt, hurt you. you. Well, and sugar is the main culprit. I know. Yeah, oh, processed sugar. You know what? Have monk fruit. Yes, you I could know. have monk fruit. And uh, the, one of the nutritionists that uh, Nancy Lombardo, you gave me yes, her name. Nancy Lombardo she, does great work. She gave me a glowing report on the book. I put it on the back cover because she really liked what we were doing, what we were talking about, and she suggested just that we use stevia she said right. that's fine she was very strict she just went through every single recipe and said you can't say that you can't use this you have to take that out and you wow, know what that's I did and the I other did. thing if you have a, a loved one um, who is in a daycare facility who's in a memory facility please work with that facility to get Christina's book to change the nutrition that is in that facility so many facilities oh. 
all over yes. the country are serving high, uh, you know, like fruit sitting in high corn syrup and, you know, are really uh, damaging brains with the food that they're serving. Yeah. So you know, I, I just want to, can I just back up there if you've got a parent uh, in that a facility? That really hit a note with me because my mother was at the end had to be in a facility because it was very difficult to take care of her. She wasn't able to, to move. She had to be spoon fed. And I walked in there one day. They were feeding her one of those blueberry muffins that you get at the big box stores. You know, uh -huh. she mashed, they mashed it up and they put like some ice cream in it and they were feeding it to her like, you know, she, she had to have it like a baby. I said, what is this? What, what is this? And they showed it to me. I said, do you realize what you're feeding her? I had to take her out of there because of the foods that they were giving. I, I believe that they contributed to the, um, to her demise quicker than, than before I discovered what they were feeding her. It, it so horrified one of the things me. we want to do yeah. is get food for thought into mm -hmm. every yes. memory care facility, every right. hospital. And as I said, if you are the child of someone struggling with Alzheimer's or another form of dementia, you can be uh, a foot soldier in yes. this movement. You can bring this in. You can sit down and, and talk to the people who are organizing the nutrition in those facilities, and you can work to change it. You pay money. Uh, you want the best for your loved one. And food is a really good beginning. You can also include and, and petition them to bring in arts programs, uh, focus on the nutrition, bring in music programs, music, music. and then bring in food. So, well, um, a lot of people think because you're eating organic, which I, you know, if it's not organic, if it doesn't have the nine, the first number is nine. If it's nine, if it's it's, it's fine. If it's four, it's out the door. It's not oh, expensive. I like that. Amazon. Nine, is, okay. It, yeah, nine is fine. Four, four out, out the, the door. Four out the door. Um, all the store, all the big stores now, all the grocery stores carry organic foods. It's twenty five cents more. What is it for your health? You end up paying so much money in insurance and in hospitals. I'm working with the City of Hope now with their nutrition department too, to, and they were wonderful when I was there. I was there for two and a half weeks, and the food that they served there was healthy. It yes. was thoughtful, um, and it, it, it like contributed that. thoughtful, thoughtful and it contributed to me getting well as quickly as I did. Plus, the doctor said. I recovered so well from the stem cell, uh, even though I, I have multiple myeloma, uh, and I believe it was environmental, and we'll, that's another story altogether. Yes. Okay. But they, they definitely said that they had never seen anybody recover so quickly, and I attribute that to the foods that I ate before. Cause Your my, bone broth. My, the bone broth, which she ate. <laughs> but you know, it's but it's so good for you. It's so good. But for I you. think one of the things yeah. that we really want to stress, and and the women's Alzheimer's movement really does stress, is that you can be the change. You can create change. Uh, we're not just about raising money, although we like to raise money for women-based research. research. But what we're really trying to do is educate, educate you about your cognitive health help you help your parents. If you're in your 20s, help you help, help your parents. Yourself, My too. kids have been so helpful to me. But to think about your brain as well as your body, to think about you know, your life holistically. So we ask people when you join the Women's Alzheimer's Movement, commit. Commit to being educated. Commit to seeing yourself as an empowered architect of change, of change. right? And get engaged. Uh, you can change the nutrition in your parents' memory care facility. You can change what your parents eat. You can change what you eat. Mm -hmm. You can say, if you're walking in the walks for Alzheimer's, I want some of the money that I'm raising to go to women's space research. That's not sexist. That's smart because the majority Two of cases thirds of women are... Yeah. So we want to know friends. what's going on yeah. in women's brains and bodies that we could learn from. And that will change the future of all minds. So we're, we're here to change the future of all minds, men and women, boys and girls, everything. So much of this news is new. And uh, these are kind of new views that you can uh, take and implement today. So I hope that you'll join the Women's Alzheimer's Please. Movement. Yes. Commit to being the change. Commit to buying food for thought. Commit to eating healthy. And once again, store that memory care facility that you've got your parents That's important. in. I love that you yeah. said that. That's yeah. very important. Make the yes. change. Remember, you're yeah. putting the money down. You have a voice. Yeah. And you can use it. And I have to say that Maria last week gave me the title of Architect of Change. Yes. And I was honored to get it because it was, you know, I've watched you over the years and, and these women that you have, even when you were first ladies. That's right. And, women men, that would come and men. We have a lot of men. Uh, oh, yes, and men too. But yes. to have that honor, you are an architect of, architect of change. You are. You can, 
everybody is and you can go right. out and do the same thing and spread the word and get out there and start eating healthy and make a difference in your life so we're going to be coming back every week with uh -huh. recipes for food for thought remember you can pre-order it on amazon it's a great christmas gift uh, right. any new year's gift and right. every day on birthday the, gift, yes, it's a gift. Friend <laughs> gift, a gift hostess gift, yeah. host gift, yeah. bachelorette gift. I don't know. Yeah, yeah I had one of my friends for Christmas. She ordered forty books to give oh, out as Christmas. You know who that was? No, Jean-Vierre. Oh, our dear friend, oh, Jean-Vierre. Yes, okay, okay. Well, okay. forty so, books. So thank you, Jean-Vierre. She's giving them out as Christmas gifts. I've been thinking yeah. that that's a good yeah. book to yeah. get. So yes. thank you so and much. I've been thinking about how much I love you and appreciate you. No, thank back at you. So. God bless you, you all. Thank you, everybody, Thank you for tuning in. We'll See be back next week. next week. Thank you. Bye. Bye. -bye.